Hey members, happy Tabata Tuesday. For today's workout, we're gonna be doing some different movements. So actually what I need you to do is take two markers, whether they be cones or t-shirts or uh, bands or pieces of paper, really anything, chalk marks on the driveway. And what you're gonna do is mark two marks 20 meters away, okay? So one way you can easily do meters is if you stand up right nice and tall, uh, if you take a big step forward, right, bring your leg all the way up like an army soldier, all the way up, and then step forward, that is approximately, give or take, one meter. If you know you have 20 meters on X, Y, or Z piece of property, use that. But for layman's work, those, uh, those leg extensions are a pretty decent indicator of meters, okay? So um, mark 20 of those, so you would count like one, two, right? And you're going to mark 20. So you're going to walk like a soldier, 20 soldier steps and mark the other piece. Okay. So for today's Tabata, I'm actually going to have you sprint in between those lines for 45 seconds. It's going to be as many like laps as you can do in 45 seconds. And then when you get back, you're just going to hold a low plank. Okay. So alternatively, if you don't have that space available to you, uh, or you don't feel comfortable sprinting, dashing, turning, things like that, you can do high knees, okay? So you're just gonna start 45 seconds, knees up nice and high, okay? So then after you do 45 seconds of that, you can hit a low plank for 45 seconds of the running, you can hit a low plank, okay? So the elbows are on the ground, underneath the shoulders. Core and glutes are braced. After which you can stay, uh, lay on your back and you're gonna do hollow body rockers. Okay, so we've worked on these before. You're gonna lay back, do a partial crunch with your arms and your legs. Okay, so you're just gonna rock back and forth, keeping the tension on your abs, trying to conserve the momentum, right? And an image I like to give people is pretend your body is a bowl and there's water in your body and you have to try to keep it moving without spilling too much on either side, right? So you want to keep the water moving back and forth without spilling too much over your feet or over your hands. And once you're done that for 45 seconds, you can go into a 15 second hold. So if you need to take a break, relax, and then go right into the hold, that's great. Or if you can just go straight from the rockers into the hold, that's even better, albeit a little bit more challenging. So after that, we're going to do some hop over. So you're going to stand up. We're going to get into a jump, uh, into a squat position. You're going to jump up and over, tuck your knees in your chest. Okay. So you can use your arms and swing those over as well. Okay. So hop overs and then you're going to hold a low squat. Just demonstrating my, my heart rate's already elevated. I'm starting to breathe a little bit heavy. That's good though. Right. It means you're going to get a great workout. And then finally, after that, we're going to do mountain climbers and then hold a bird dog, okay? So you're going to be here. Mountain climbers, knees up to your chest. And then after that, you're going to hold fifteen seconds. And then I would do this, this circuit at least four times through. That'll give you a 16 minute workout and a, about you know a minute and a half total of bird dogs, or I guess three minutes of bird dogs, a minute and a half on each side, okay? So if you have any questions about this, feel free to email me, joelbaker at philadelphiacc.net. Have a great day and stay active and stay hydrated. It might be a warm one out there today.